Hello, you advance of Zeta kit bashers. Joel here from the Hangar Bay, bringing you February 2019's P Bundai delivery. And oh boy, we got another load of great stuff that's just come in. First up, first order of business, I do have the HG Advance of Zeta kits up for pre order. Please be advised that they are moving very quickly because you need multiples of them if you want to build a specific kit bash. Also, if you would like some help with a specific kit that you'd like to build, please send a question because it is a little bit complicated and you do require a fair bit of mixing and matching in order to get the, the, to get the kit in the correct colors and, and fully assembled. Anyway, with that aside, let's get to it. First up, we have the RG Banshee Non Final Battle version. So, this is pretty much a copy of the retail kit of the RG Banshee Non. Key difference on this one is basically straight up just the psycho frame. So, this has the green psycho frame. It also has, uh, or actually, the stickers are also different. So, it has the green stickers markings for the armor as well. Aside from that, this is the same kit, same set of parts. Um, nothing is plated. Also, please, please, please be careful when assembling the kit and especially with the shoulders. I have seen tons of broken kits and broken shoulders because of people trying to flex the shoulder a bit too much and unfortunately the tooling engineers, they've, they've overfiled the joints which has made it overly stiff which has made it prone to breaking. If you're somewhat afraid of that, I would certainly recommend in investing in a pin vise because that's the best way to repair that sort of damage. You know, you'll need to pin it, get some super glue, a bit of paper clip and a pin vise, drill it in, and that will fix that. Um, I'm not entirely sure what they're gonna do with water slides for this sort of thing. Normally for water slides for a an RG kit, you'll see that coming as a GD sheet, like we saw with the Sananju and the RG Unicorn. Nothing has been announced for the Banshee. Um, however, the VNBS, so the retail Banshee, that was announced and I do have that available for pre-order. So maybe there will be something coming in the future and maybe something for the full armor Unicorn. So. They'll have something for the, the final battle with that. I don't know, because that also has a green psycho frame. Anyway, that's currently sold out. I do have more available for pre-order for April, so it's quite popular. Get in fairly quickly if you want one, because it will disappear. MG Gundam Astray Red Dragon. And this, this is possibly one of the, the most popular kits I have had listed. This shot up in the total number of uh, watches much more than any other kit and that includes the wound wart so that says a lot best news about this kit is this box is small enough to send as an e-packet so shipping is not going to be super excessive i was a bit wary about the kit i looked at it i looked at the astray which is a, just a smaller mg box and thought yeah, you could probably get that in the box the size of the turn red, if you remember the turn red, which was available through uh, Bluefin distributor distribution and numerous other worldwide distributor distributors. Um, this is, well, another variation of the, the red frame. And yeah, so ch shipping doesn't have to be EMS, so you can save a bunch of shipping on that one. And got the full set of water slides like the turn red and then it's got the really cool crest effect for the head there and then it's got the the three cauldron witches i think it was called the, the three swords so you've got one that comes as the tail and two is on the sides from the wings which is what makes it the red dragon really really nice looking kick it also comes with um, support stands for holding everything up because everything is super weighty and it's no way in hell the joints are going to hold all of that weight. But yeah, this thing is really nice. Uh, the kit itself is a bit expensive because it's got a fair bit to it. 
but yeah, this this thing is also super popular. So it's sold out completely for this month. I do have more available for April. It is moving fairly quickly, so I do recommend getting your pre-orders in for this kit if you want to get your hands on one. If there's a third run, because we're currently on the second run for April, I will order into that one as well. But yeah. Otherwise, you might be caught in a situation like the Stormbringer, where that sold out very quickly, and it was super difficult to find one. Until they've reissued it recently, and I've got more coming in, thankfully for that. But yeah. Envy Gundam Astray Red Dragon, great kit. Definitely, definitely, definitely look into this. MG F91 Gundam F91 After Image Color. So, this is straight up the MG F91 2.0 in clear color and that's basically about it to it even even though it's a p bandai it's still coming with the dry transfers and stickers unfortunately so yeah but yeah as you can see pretty much all in clear color would be rather interesting with the bandai led inserted into it but basically with this kit what you want is you want to oh oh sorry it has plated parts I like the F91, yeah, well, obviously it's going to have plated parts. Anyway, so what you want to do with this kit is you want two of them, basically. And you got your nice stands, and then you want yourself a regular retail F91. Um, if you can get your hands on GD25, which is the water slide sheet, you want that one, three copies of that. And then you can get yourself a nice after image effect for your F91. Um, unfortunately, it doesn't work with the VSBR type or that Canon type. Maybe they'll do something with that. That would be interesting if they do. Um, if you're looking for the VSBR and that Canon pack, I do actually have that in stock at the moment as well. So check that out if you're interested. MG Destiny Impulse Gundam Regenes and the MG Impulse Gundam Blanche. So these two kits, they're pretty much straight up part for part, the same thing only in different colors and with a different water slide marking set. I don't have massive numbers on these because these are reissue kits. Uh, the Regenus R has a massive water slide sheet, by the way, so it's going to take you a fair bit of patience to get through all of that, and they're all long things, so it's a bit tedious, but once you get it all together, it's going to look really nice. But yeah, so these two kits, they're straight up, they've got the two alternative heads as a possibility for them, and yeah, otherwise they're they're straight up the same thing just in different colors they don't have too many of them uh i do i'm pretty much sold out on the destiny impulse because i believe that was just old stock that was sitting in Monday and it sold out very quickly the impulse blanche i have more of coming in so that will probably disappear before all of them arrive in april so if you want to get in a pre-order on that i certainly recommend that also noteworthy is that they have a retail version of the Destiny coming up. So I fully anticipate HD versions of these two kits to come out after, well, some months after the HD Destiny comes out. And if that is the case, I will certainly be purchasing those and having them available for order. Anyway, great kits, definitely recommend. Let me check them out on my store. Okay, MG Giradoga Unicorn version and what I'm currently wearing, the Quest Air Yagdoga in the RE100. So, this is was new as of January, so the Quest one. Uh, this is a reissue. And the reason why this one has come out, I will allude to shortly, but this, this is a nice kit. It's an older master grade, however, even so, it, is new enough to come with the water slides under unlike some of the older mg master grades so i think like the marasai unicorn version that only comes with dry transfers and stickers um unfortunately the markings because they're not inlays they're, they're not even water slides like the sananju narrative the mg sananju narrative just stickers for the sleeve markings so you might want to do a uh, reverse wash and paint for that however so yeah, so what's crucial with that, and I'll get to that in a second. Okay, so we have the RE100 Yagd Doga. This is a new kit, 
This does not come with water slides, unfortunately. It's a set of stickers, so it's not like the Mark Unit 3 Mark 8. I'm oh, sorry, Mark 3 Unit 8, which is a Mark 3 RA100, and then the gun cannon detector also has water slides. So, not like all of them, but yeah, so key thing with this is you're able to build the the Yugdoga Unicorn version because it has the specific sleeves part you know, the, the, the sleeves part for the you know. now, unfortunate thing is you're going to have to come and cannibalize the gear burger. and a lot of people were asking well why didn't they sell this this sort of thing as a complete kit and there's actually a really good reason for it because this is an older master grade this doesn't have the switching that you'd normally see on newer runners. So there's no uh, switching on the sprue, so they can't gate anything off. So, in order to convert this, the, the, the Quest Yagdoga into the Unicorn Yagdoga, you need parts from all of the sorts of runners. You need the D runner, the A runner, the C runner, the E runner. So many of the different runners are required in order to assemble the um, Unicorn version and because they're not gated off you need the full runner and if Bandai were to print out the full runners from that it's like it's they're almost printing out the whole kit again and that's just for the arm so unfortunately it was not designed with that in mind they didn't want to produce new molds in order to sort of get everything all together so that could be converted because molds are expensive they cost quite a bit to produce so you're caught in this situation where you need two PM Bandai kits because like if you're printing most of the kit you may as well print all of it. Mm, yeah, so you're gonna end up with a lot of leftover parts. Is what it is. Not a whole lot that can be done about it, it's just the reality of it. However, yeah, that's still possible. You will need to paint it. But yeah. Torgis 2. Hopefully we'll be seeing the RG Torgis 3 shortly. So this is sold out on the P Bandai store. I do have more coming in on April, but that's it. Cannot order any more. Try to order as many as I can. Pretty much mostly maxed out. This is Wing, so it is popular. The Tall Geese is a great kit. It's going to move quickly. Definitely, definitely, definitely try to pick that up while you can, because when it's gone, it's gone. I can't get more. But yeah, hopefully we'll see the Tall Geese free soon. And then we'll see some water slides because the water slides should go with the tall geese, tall geese 2, tall geese 3, it should be DD sheet, like how they've done for the I like it, or like the double O riser and the seven swords, they're both on one sheet. So yeah. Hopefully so. Leo Space Type. This again also sold out. I've ordered what I can, cannot order any more. It is sold out on the P Bandai store. The Leo Flight Type, however, is not sold out. That said, it's on its second run still. I've maxed out my orders. If there's a third run, I will order more. Uh, yeah, we'll see how how many of those come out. Great kit. If you check it, want to check out Saint Tim's build of it? He made a really cool uh, Titans variation of that. I do have photos of that. You can see also that in the product page I have. Definitely, definitely look into that. HG Gazar and Gazelle. So, two kits, two gold belt evaders basically, with modification to the shoulder for the spike water slides in order to produce the nice trimmings, unlike the Verona Big Medina. Um, get yourself some silver spray, you'll get yourself a great kit. A great pair of kits, actually. And so, yeah, you may want um, two cans of spray. A bit. Minimal stickers as well. This thing is nice. It should be more popular. It's not as popular as anticipated, but yeah. There's only like the, the tips of the shoulders that have got stickers on it. I don't know what it's like. Anyway, more of those came in. I can order more of them if needed. Otherwise, yeah. That's it. Victory 2 Assault Buster, Verkar, and the Wings of Light. Um, Unfortunately, I missed out on ordering the Wings of Light when the Victory 2 Assault Buster was first available in December. I have rectified that and ordered some because people obviously want it, even though it's a fairly small expansion thing. But it's got a nice stand for the kit, and that's most of the business there. So you got the pink wings and the blue wings. Not a whole lot to that, but if you want to add that extra little bit of jazz to your kit, that's something you 
probably want to pick up in addition. Anyhow, so onto these two things. So this is the complete kit. This contains the Victory 2 in it. This, this is just an expansion. You need a retail Victory 2 in order to complete the kit. Now, another interesting thing that was noted, I haven't actually built the kit, but what was noted was that there are some joint parts in the kit. So, there, I've looked at the instructions. There were some modifications to the shoulders and hips, I believe. I believe that should add some degree of stability to the kit. I know that there was a number of issues with the kit due to stability. However, unfortunate thing with this is I have noticed that the Victory 2 Verkar is very, very difficult to find in retail and in Japan, which is strange. Furthermore, I've also noticed that the retailers have stocked up on other Verkar kits. So things like the Sazabi, the Nu, the High Nu, uh, the original Victory as well. All of that's there, the Crossbone X1. That's all there on the shelves. The V2 is not. I suspect Bandai is being kind of holding off on those. I'm trying to push people into purchasing this one. So this contains the original well, the Retail Victory 2, um, with one, one key modification, and that's these yellow parts here, they're plated. These are not plated on the Retail Kit. They're also mostly undergated, so you really won't get much of the range of nub marks on that. So if you want a little bit of um, shine to your V2, and you're having, if you don't have a V2 available and you don't want to sit around waiting for Bandai to eventually restock retailers when they decide to, then this is probably the route you want to go to. Unfortunately I've only got a couple left at the time of filming this. More are available for order so I'll probably pick up more. So if you're having trouble with this, pre-order and you'll have be covered when they come in. Anyway, V2 Assault Buster, we've been waiting a long time for it. Finally here, maybe not the, the best in terms of, of uh, articulation, but it does look really nice when put together. And if you want to add on those wings of light and really jazz it up to the next level, certainly, certainly something I can recommend. Heavy weapon set for the new. So we have the expansion, got plenty of those in stock. The complete kit. With the new included, uh, due to the size of the box, it's EMS only, so shipping is quite a bit more. Key difference between this and the retail kit is this has a blue psycho frame. So, and and the armor is slightly different. It's a slightly more off white, so it's a bit more beigey on the the armor. But the key difference, especially if you're painting, is the the psycho frame is the clear blue. Otherwise, you can assemble this from the retail so you just need the expansion part this is a lot cheaper to ship this is cheaper overall especially if you're buying a retail new the retail new is in shops and hasn't been cut off by Bandai from the looks of things so yeah that's something definitely worth looking into new is a great kit this thing makes it a bit less articulated but makes it really really chunky um, without adding extra tedium of more funnels. Yeah. There it is. There it is. Blue parts. That that cannot be purchased in retail. Um, there's also a red version of that, which would be interesting. Funny if somebody did the um. It's a bit of. It's quite a rare kick, unfortunately. So it's the Gundam Front Tokyo. So the original Gundam base. It was a limited kit sold there, so it's no longer available at all. But yeah, if somebody's ever built one with the HWS, that would be super cool to see. Uh, if you've seen that, send, put a link in the, the comments. I'd, I'd love to see that. Anyway, great kit. And finally, we have the second Neo Zeong narrative version. Uh, this is funny because in this case, the box is the shipping case. So yeah, this thing weighs in at a hefty slightly over nine kilos. So it's a 10 kilogram EMS shipment. Because of 
it has to be packaged in the shipping case. I cannot ship it separately. This, oh, I cannot ship it combined with anything. This must be shipped separately. I also can't open this up to show anything inside it because it is a sealed box. Sorry about that. I don't want to break those seals at present. But yeah, um, huge kit. It also comes with water slides. It is presently the only way to get water slides for the HG Sananju Stein narrative version, unfortunately. Um, maybe Bandai will come out with a GD sheet for a narrative. I'm hoping that'll be the case and hoping within the second half of this year, but yeah, we'll see about that. And then we also have the HG Psycho Shard for the Neo Zeong and second Neo Zeong. So if you're not happy with an absolutely ginormous kit, and you want to take it up to absolute craziness, we've got this. Not super sophisticated, it's actually quite heavy. These things weigh a lot more than what you think. might think it's plastic. It forms a nice ring around the Neo Zeon, or the second Neo Zeon, and yeah, turns it into a, the, I guess, absolute centerpiece of whatever collection you might have, unless you have some crazy PG like the Phoenix or something like that. Yeah, and that's it for this month. So, coming up next month, we have the HG TR6 Hazel 2. So, this is different from the TR1 Hazel 2. This is based on the Woundwort. I know it's called Hazel, and this is all bizarre in the naming schemes. If you watch Zach Aurelius, he gives a sort of an explanation for it. Um, there'll be more kits like that also coming up since we also have a Garplant 2 kit bash that's also possible with what's going to be available as of uh, June this year. Yeah, so Hazel 2, that's again super popular. I'm going to order as many as I can. It's going to move out the door very, very quickly. Get your pre-orders in if you want one. HG Regalgu Unicorn version, so if you remember the Regelgu that we saw last year from Double Zeta, this is a sleeves variation of that one. So it's got a slightly different color and a slightly different, well, it's a purple color. It's got the, um, it's got a change to the sleeve, so it has the sleeves iconography on the, the, the cuffs. And then it also has, it comes with an extra weapon, so it's a bit different from the Double Zeta version. But yeah, otherwise it's mostly the same kit. It's based on the old Gelgoog which actually holds up quite decently, so definitely check that one out if you want it. Um, RE100 Gun Blaster, so based on the recent Gun Easy RE100, which was a retail kit, we have the Gun Blaster. Um, this one is coming with a limited set of water slide decals, I believe. So I should be getting one sheet per kit that's coming in, so if that's the case, I will definitely couple that water slide sheet with the Gun Blaster kit. And add that in. Yeah, and then we have the MG Jim Cannon Redhead Jabiro Defense. So this is part of the Ace Pilot log. It has an immortal fourth marking for the shoulder. So if you want to dress that as immortal fourth, that's a possibility. Otherwise, it's a Jim Cannon that we've seen before in slightly different colors again. So we've seen the original, then the uh, North American Frontline spec and then the White Dingo team and now we have the Redhead. Yeah, there should be also a fifth kit. I believe there should be a special coating of the Quantra Full Sabre, but that's not on the list on the store. So it's a bit strange that the, the store is so empty for March because there's normally about five, six new products and it's only four. I'm not quite sure exactly what's going on with that. Anyhow, um, New, well, stock that we're getting in once again, Legend BB Victory Dai Shogun. So that's the Legend BB kit with a lot of plating. Uh, looks super nice if you're into that sort of thing. Yeah. Um, MG Hyaku Shiki Crush. There was only two runs of that available. I maxed out all of my orders for that. The first one I was only order, only able to order six. Um, if you're into these build divers kits, and they certainly are great. Um, we had reissues on the Polypod and the. Stormbringer, so you definitely want to get in on that. Otherwise, it's going to be gone, and when it's gone, I cannot order anymore. Uh, MG Cubelay Down, again, orders are closed on that one. It's Build Divers kit, it's slightly larger box. It's a, it must be shipped via EMS, unfortunately. 
However, I can combine it with other kits. So if you want to ship the Crash and the Cubely Damned, send me a message. I can definitely sort that out for you. I'll use the request total from seller option on eBay. Um, then also the RE100 Ifrit Schneid. So again, RE100 kit. Uh, if you have the Gym 2 Semi Striker, which I also have more of, then you can set up yourself a nice unicorn scene. Otherwise, yeah, RE100 kit based on the RE100 Ifrit exam. Uh, we have the Schneid. Maybe we'll see some Nacht and the Standard Ifrit in the RE100 line. I'm hoping to see that because they're great in the HGUC line. So looking forward, hopefully. Um, Getting slightly more stock on the HG Shezar Jester, oh shit, Jester Shezar Team, oh, Shezar Type Team A, so that's the one with the boosters. We're not seeing an MG version of that yet, we need to see an MG version of the Stark Jiggin before we see an MG version of the Shezar Team A, unfortunately. Um, B and C now have an MG version, because that's just an MG Jiggin and a bunch of new parts. Um, more escort jiggin, so again from narrative. We also have the DJ narrative available for pre-order in May. So if you want you set yourself to see what scene up from that. Um Gym 2 Semi Striker, that's again closed, cannot order anymore. Ordered a bunch on that. Gyms are great, you definitely pick that up. This has got the great um like beam saver, twin beam saver sphere. And then finally it's already sold out unfortunately it's more popular than anticipated with the mg phoenix narrative version so i do have orders available on april for that so orders aren't completely closed on on p bundle store so yeah check me out for that i can ship that anyway that's everything please check out my ebay store if you're interested in any of the stuff that i mentioned anything that's up and coming anything that you've seen before in the video also stuff that has been released in prior months i do have stock on that sort of thing as I try to retain some stock on all kits so you have options available otherwise yeah follow me comment subscribe ring bells all that youtube thingy yeah anyway thanks for watching catch you next time bye bye